Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yugi Stuff here, back bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! Graded Cards Returns from TGH, the new UK grading company. I really love TGH, guys. I think they're a really affordable equivalent to BSA, who are currently only accepting cards of $100 per card as the cheapest submission. So today, Mr. Loco23994, if I remember correctly, has sent us his return to review on the channel. So. Shout out to you, my friend Loco. Thank you very much. I cannot wait to show the whole of the casual crew what we've got for you. And uh, best of luck on your returns, because I have no idea what we're going to get today, guys. So if you're excited for this video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And without further ado, let's get straight into the TGH return, guys. Like I say, I have no clue what is going to be in here other than a load of graded cards, as you can see. And probably the best way of doing this will be for me to just pick out a card from here and then reveal it because we don't want to give away the grade. So first card of the return is a Gatling Dragon Ultimate Rare. Oh my days, that is an absolute beautiful card. I love Gatling Dragon. So first edition Flaming Eternity 2005 Gatling Dragon, guys. Wow, that looks beautiful, man. Whoa. Absolute classic card back in the day. This was so powerful. The fusion of Blowback Dragon and Barrel Dragon. Can you believe it? Release in Flaming Eternity. It's pretty insane when you think about it. Actually, I'm going to put this on my lap and just get the cards out like so. Okay, guys. So next up, we have a Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. A very beautiful card uh, from Gladiator's Assault. The cover card. We pulled it in Ghost Rare recently. Oh, this got a pristine 10. Take a look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos getting the pristine 10, guys. Wow. That's absolutely insane. Let's just zoom in a little bit on this. That's insane, guys. What? Pristine 10. That is the highest grade that you can actually get. So we're going to put the highest grades, I guess, in the top corner, the 10s and the 9s and the 8s. But wow. So pretty good start for our buddy Loco here. Ooh, next up we've got an Elemental Hero Avian, first edition from Legendary Collection GX, which is the second ever Legendary Collection to be revealed. And we've got another eight, okay. Eight's not bad, guys. Eight's a decent um, silver. I think the nines are also silver as well. That's a pretty good card. And next we've got a Sparkman, which got a nine. Very cool. I do like these alternate artworks for the uh, Elemental Heroes. They do look really cool. They look like from a different universe, like a universe, like a multiverse kind of... Um, artworks personally. Uh, the originals are great, but it's cool to see something new. Fifth Hope, another secret rare from Legendary Collection GX. Got an 8. Okay. What is wrong with these cards, by the way? Um, maybe a bit OC. Not much whitening that I can see. Still looks nice, though. Fifth Hope. Look at that. Beauty. So another 8. That's fine. Then we have. Ooh! Elemental Hero Wild Heart. This is the ultra rare secret rare misprint, but every single one are like these from those little blisters that you get um, three packs from. I believe it's Cybernetic Revolution, Elemental Energy, and uh, Lost Millennium that you get from these. It's got a nine, very cool to see Wild Heart. So yeah, limited edition. It doesn't mention anything about misprints on the label because it is a card that every one of them has that same error. So. Oh, here's a cool card. Here's a Star Strike Blast, Secret Rare, Spellstone Sorcer Karud. Got a nine. Like, honestly, this is a card that I rarely see. I do own a copy of this, but it's not one of those cards that you'd see every day. Spellcaster effect, nice. So another nine. We haven't got any tens, but we have got a pristine ten, which is interesting. Ooh, Constella Omega. Look at this ulti, guys. Here we go. That's more down my street. I love the ultis, guys. What did Constella Omega get? Oh, it did get a 10. Nice. An ultimate rare 10. Beautiful. Let's see if this thing had an ulti stamp. Yeah, it did have a bit of an ulti stamp there. Because sometimes PSA would mark that down as an issue. But TGH recognized that ulti stamps are part of the card. It's part of the, uh, the sacrifice for an ultimate rare, guys, is that most of them have an ulti stamp. And you can't really get rid of it. It's just there since it was produced. So... Oh, another Constellar Omega. Can we get back to back tens? We can get a pristine copy. What? That looks insane. Yo, Constellar Omega. 
10, pristine 10. Wow. So you've got a 10 and a pristine 10. I don't know if he's selling any of these guys, but he might uh, might just sell one of them. Ooh, Star Eater. Again, one of my favorite ever cards from Zexel. Got a nine. That looks beautiful. Wow. That looks really nice. Look at that. Star Eater. I'm loving this, guys. This is really exciting. Uh, Bujinte Susanoo. An eight. Okay. That's a low grade ulti. A little bit OC left to right. Uh, has a bit of whitening at the top there. Other than that, pretty cool card. Next up, for our buddy Loco, we have... Ooh, Armides, Keeper of Boundaries. This is a cool card from Judgment of the Light. I pulled it a couple of times on the channel. And we got a 10. Great. Beautiful card. Gem Mint 10. Beautiful. So it's the second 10 that we've had. Oh, Summon Skull. OG print. Yo. That looks absolutely gorgeous, man. Wow. What does Summon Skull get, guys? Summon Skull got a... 8. Okay, yeah, very old card. Oh, it's European as well. I didn't see that. 2003 European. That doesn't look European to me, man. That looks NA print. I didn't even realize it was Euro. That's, that's a beautiful card. Wow. The OG print from Euro. That's insane. Haven't got anything less than an 8, which is really good. Chaos Emperor Dragon. This looks to be a reprint. Oh! Pristine 10! 2010 reprint. Whoa! Oh my days. That's insane, guys. Look at that. Wow. Whew. That is sexy. That is extremely sexy. He's got three pristines already. Yo. Uh, Athenian the Great Sphinx with an eight. Classic card. Everyone loves the Sphinxes from back in the day. Blowback Dragon. Speaking of Gatling Dragon's fusion material pieces, got a seven. Okay, so here's our first seven, guys. Fortunately, we got a seven on Blowback. Don't know why. A bit of whitening down here. But that's okay. We'll put our sevens up here. Don't think we'll be getting many of them. Black Lost the Soldier from MC2. Got a nine. That's quite strong. That's a gorgeous card. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Shame we can get a 10 to match our secret rare Chaos Emperor Dragon. Exodia Necros, used by Gozuburo Kaiba. Got a nine. Pretty cool. Has he sent in all the MC2 cards? I think he has. Breaker of the Magical Warrior. This one's very OC. I'm going to predict an 8 or a 9. And he got an 8. Very OC. Did it have anything else wrong with it? Uh, not, yeah, a little bit of back scuffing, I guess. Still nice. Still really cool. And Guardian's Sphinx is the last one from MC2. And this got a 7. Okay. So it didn't grade too well on those old school Master Collection cards, unfortunately. But still, pretty nice. Hey, we're moving to MC1 now. Nine, beautiful for Dark Ruler Hades or Hades, however you want to pronounce it. Beautiful. Uh, a couple more cards, Dark Necrophere. This was my brother's favorite from back in the day. Oh, we got a 10, beautiful Dark Necrophere or Necrophere. Nice, amazing. Oh, I've been putting the nines in the 10 pile. My bad. Because I'm not used to having two 10 piles, one for pristine, one for a... Uh, one for regular gem mints. Exciting. Hopefully that's a bit better with the light. Last card from our first box is Thousand Eyes Restrict, which also got a 10. Stunning. Thousand Eyes. Lovely. First box down, second box to go. I will crack this open for you now, guys. Uh, which way do I go? I think it's this way, yeah. So we, here we go, Relinquished from MC1, so Master Collection 1, guys, continuing the secret rare trend. <gasps> wow, Prist that looks insane, a pristine 10 Relinquished, guys. Yo, what? Oh my days. That is gorge, gorgeous, look at that. Can't really see the secret rare, though. Maybe it's just the uh, the lighting. But man, that's an expensive car, guys. That's got to fetch a couple of hundred pounds, surely. Pristine 10. Barrel Dragon is up next. Barrel Dragon. This looks a bit OC. I'm going to say 9. There we go. We've got a 9 for Barrel Dragon. 
Oh my god, we've got a secret rare red eyes from BPT. We've got an eight. Look at this car, guys. This is absolutely insane. Wow. Daily dose of nostalgia right there. Red eyes, black dragon. The fact that Joey wins it in a duel as well is so cool. Blue eyes, speaking of secret rares, from BPT. Another nine. Well, I say another nine, but a nine is good. We'll take that's the second. That's BP009, isn't it? Yeah. Dark Magician of Chaos. Go to nine as well. Let's check out this secret ref oil. Yeah, that's very, very nice. That's very, very nice indeed. Exodia, the Forbidden One from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. Secret rare. That looks really nice. Got a nine. Take that. That looks really good, actually, in Secret Rare. I like that a lot. What else do we have? Oh, Ghosties, baby. Some Ghost Rares. So, Junk Berserker. I have a PSA 10 of this. Why does this look difficult to show off on camera? Wow. It got a 10. Yo. That's insane. Beautiful! Ghost Rare 10, jeez. Do we have any other Ghost Rares in here? Oh no, we've got Big Shield Gardener from DB1. I absolutely love Big Shield Gardener, guys. What a classic from back in the day. Everyone wanted this in their deck. 2600 defense. It's got such a cool, cool pose. Such a. If you think of a monster in defense position, you always think of them doing the Big Shield Gardener pose, don't you? Like, crouch down, trying to defend as best as possible. Um, and this got a 9. That's beautiful. Wow. Funny thing is, this is Guardner, but some of the other Big Shield Gardeners are pronounced, uh, spelled G-A-R-D-N-A, I think. This one's Guardner, because it's the DB1 copy, but the, I think the copy from, the super rare copy from like a tournament pack, I think, comes as G-A-R-D-N-A. That's the max rarity. Starlight Red Eyes Black Dragon, and I've spoiled it, it got a 10. That looks insane. Wow. Yo. Insane. Speaking of red eyes, guys, back to back. Can we get back to back tens? Oh, we got a nine. This is a nice artwork of red eyes. It looks to be on Mars or something. Lots of lava. Lots of heat. Azura Priest. Nice from Hobby League. This is actually my favourite rarity, guys. I love Hobby League. You got an eight. Really difficult to grade though, Hobby League cards, honestly. Really, really tricky. And another one. Oh, a six on the side of jar. Yeah, a bit of whitening at the top there. That's a shame. So we have to open a pile for sixes, I guess. Oh, uh, DR1, Exodia Necros. That looks nice. Beautifully green. A seven, not bad, for DR1, Exodia Necros. Dark Magician, though, with that jump promo. Beautiful art artwork. Got a ten. Nice card, guys. Look at that. Wow, the white, the white background is just completely white, isn't it? That's insane. That looks so cool. Oh, blue eyes as well. Can we get a 10? Oh, we got a 9 on the blue eyes, unfortunately. On the jump promo blue eyes. Unfortunately. Still really cool artwork, though. Oh, we got another chance. Can we get a 10? Yes, we can! Blue eyes, white dragon, getting the 10. So we've got the blue eyes... Um, and Dark Magician 10s, that's insane. Loco man, this is a really good submission. Metal Zoa, cool card. 10, beautiful. Gem Mint 10, Metal Zoa. Nice, have we got Zoa? We do have Zoa. Can Zoa get a 10 as well? Yes, it can, let's go. Beautiful. So two 10s, man, that's insane. So we only got like five cards left. <sighs> An ulti pot of greed. Guys, does anyone know what this does? Gem Mint 10 does, because, what? That's insane, I think this is North American print, but still looks insane. Wow, beautiful. So, so many 10s he's got, man, this is insane. Oh, a German Red Eyes Black Dragon. Oh my god. Wow, pristine 10. German PCJ Red Eyes. That's insane. That is absolutely incredible. What a card. Wow. It's cool seeing foreign language cards as well. Wind-up kitten. Ultimate rare. Here kitty kitty, getting a 10. 
Two more cards, guys. Ooh, we have a GBI Winged Dragon of Ra, and it's another turn. That looks beautiful with the gold label, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Last card of the submission, guys. It's a tour guide from the underworld. This seems to be a European copy as well. They've got an eight. Okay. No worries. Tour guide getting an eight. Guys, overall, what a submission that was. Jeez. I don't even know how many cards that was. It's probably around 30 cards, I think, maybe. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite card from today. Let me know what you think of TGH, guys. It's really growing on me. Like, these look great. From the pristine down to the, you know, the gem mint and the mint nine. I think they look really cool. We've got a really good spread as well. We've got the most nines, then tens, then eights, then pristine tens, then sevens, then sixes. So, if you enjoyed this video, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I have some pretty amazing content coming, so make sure you are subscribed, guys. I'm going to do something huge for 6,000 subscribers, which I know is a little bit premature, but I've got some really cool things planned for that. Um, message me on Instagram if you want to know more. Take care, guys. Keep it casual. Stay safe on collecting. Peace.